Well, the suspense is gripping. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Might I have your name, please? Uh, I can't hardly hear you. It's I'm sorry? Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bloom. All right, Mr. Bloom. Mr. Bloom, we're here on a felony complaint today. As such, you're entitled to be represented by counsel. I can't hear you. They've got some kind of air thing going on. All right, I'll speak up. Thank we're you. here today on a felony complaint. You're entitled to have uh, to be represented by uh, counsel. If you cannot afford an attorney, the court will appoint one for you. Do you wish me to do that? Yes, sir. I don't know why I'm being arraigned without having an attorney anyway. <laughs> this is this is the first opportunity that you've got to have the court up to appoint an attorney for you. That's why. So this is an arraignment? Yes, this is an arraignment on a felony complaint. Aren't I supposed to have an attorney present during my arraignment? Yes, you are, if you want one. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Your Honor. If you, if you can't afford an attorney, the court will appoint one for you. Yes, Your Honor. The question to you is, do you want me to do that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, now we're cooking. Now you have an attorney. Ms. Reed, is that going to be you? It will be, yes. All right. Uh, Mr. Bloom, Ms. Reed is uh, here representing the Public Defender's Office. She's going to be representing you in this arraignment today. After that, she or someone from her office will contact you to discuss, discuss the case in more detail. Ms. Reed, can I have your appearance for the record, please? Yes, thank you. Silvana Reed, Assistant Public Defender with and on behalf of Mr. Bloom. All right, thank you. Ms. Blanche, can I have your appearance, please? Yes, Your Honor. Jessica Blanche, appearing on behalf of people. Thank you very much. All right, uh, Ms. Reed, how do you wish to proceed? As I did not have a chance to meet with Mr. Bloom, um, we would appreciate having the complaint read on the record, but we will stand mute. All right, well, you, you do want me to read it though, do you not? Yes, I do. Okay, so one count complaint for domestic violence, felony complaint, it's case number, I think it's case number. 22 FB 1031. All right, here's the uh, complaint. It's people of the state of Michigan versus Jeffrey Wayne Bloom. Count one, domestic violence. It's alleged that on or about July 11th of 2022, Mr. Bloom did make an assault or an assault and battery upon Tiffany Blaisdell, a resident or former resident of his household and or his spouse and or an individual with whom he has a dating relationship, contrary to the laws of the state of Michigan. This is a misdemeanor punishable by 93 days in jail and or a fine of $500. However, this is a third offense. So now that it's a third offense it gets moved up to a felony which is punishable by five year up to five years and or five thousand uh, dollars in fines all right okay and that's it okay having heard that uh i think i heard you say you wanted to stand mute and enter a plea of not guilty yes all right uh Ms. Blanche, I'd like to hear from you on this matter. Judge, uh, this defendant has a highly assaultive criminal history. He actually was on probation, which I didn't know when I filled out the bond form, but he was on probation for a felonious assault when he committed this domestic violence third offense. So therefore, I'm asking the court to deny his bond based on that and based on the fact that they are both violent felonies. And um, he, I believe he's um, a threat to the community. His criminal history, it's purely assaultive in nature. Um, and like I said, he was on probation for a highly assaultive crime. So I'm asking you to deny bond. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Ms. Reed? Yes, thank you. Uh, we would like to ask for, at the very least, a low cash bond so that Mr. Bloom can earn credit for time served in this matter. Um, I do understand that he also does have that probation violation hearing. Um, I 
believe maybe later this afternoon, um, if he did not already check in there, I believe that docket started at 1.30. Um, and so um, I understand the prosecution's position and I do understand that initially they were asking for a $20,000 cash or surety bond. And so we would just like to ask for a low cash bond so that he could begin earning um, credit for time served. Anything further? All right, uh, bond is set at $200,000 cash or surety. What? Um, I believe he does uh, pose a, uh, a risk to the community. He, does, he has a significant uh, assaultive uh, history. Uh, wow. We'll set his, uh, we'll set his pretrial, I'm sorry, probable cause for July 21st. Uh, obviously he's not gonna do a waiver. So July 21st at nine o'clock, probable cause conference. Excuse me, Your Honor. Anything further? Yeah. Uh, don't I have 14 days on a felony case to be have preliminary examination within 14 days? That yeah. is within 14 days. Okay. Well, another thing is there was never a dating relationship here. I would only. Hey, I had only. You know, just, this is not the place to argue your case. Okay. This is an, this uh, is an arraignment. You tell it. Uh, you tell it to the judge. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. It's, and the conditions, if you are released on bond, uh, you're not to go. Ypsilanti. Is that where you live, sir? I I was just went over there a couple days. She called one for Joan. Don't talk about the facts. Lot, nine, lot ninety one. I'm sorry, I didn't what? get the lot in there. I don't want you to talk about the facts, sir. I just wanted to know if that was where you live. No. Okay. Perfect. Okay. There was no not, dating have relationship. Any? There was no. I didn't. Okay. 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 That's fine. Uh, look, That's fine. Mr. Bloom, let me talk. Okay. Otherwise, you're just going to be sitting there for a long time. You're not oh, yeah. having any con uh, contact with Tiffany Blaisdell or Blaisdell, B-L-A-I-S-D-E-L-L. -L. In the event that you are able to uh, post bond, uh, you are ordered to uh, wear a, uh, a GPS tether. Okay, Your Honor. One more thing, Your Honor, and I'll be quiet. I'll go back. I'll I'll do whatever you say. Okay, it's, I didn't, it's your case. Go ahead. I didn't commit a crime here. She called me. Don't okay. talk about the facts of the case. Okay. Well, this needs to be said. Mr. Bloom. I know, Mr. but you Bloom, do not need to let, say let it right now. I advise you to. Ms. Reed is trying to. I need to say this, Your Honor. Well, you she, don't need to say this. Anything you say she, right now. That's can fine. And will that's be fine. Used against you. That's trial. fine. I don't care. I don't care. She needs help. She okay. needs help. She's, the court cannot, she's, the court cannot Reed, do anything I about that. She's, here got, unless you warrants. Have she's got warrants for her arrest, Your Honor. And and she's an alcoholic. She can't Law enforcement will alcohol. handle that on their own. We do not need to discuss that here. She please. needs help. Okay. That is you not something we can address help. today. I'm letting the court know that she needs help. And you're okay. Thank her. you. Thank you. Thank you. You're denying her the help that she needs. The court cannot do anything about that today. You will be held accountable. You will be held accountable. You got it. Okay. All You'll right. Be well said. Thank you. You'll be held accountable, asshole. See ya. Good luck, Ms. Reed. Thank you. He's not mine after today. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll Blanche, plan a good morning for whoever gets them. Ms. Blanche, thank you. Ms. Reed, thank, thank you. you. Ms. Saab, thank you. Yeah. And get out of that office and go enjoy the summer. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see Have you. a good one. Yep, you too.